we're going to jump right into another question which we received from the web. And the question reads, will the slaves who didn't get a chance to learn about God or being saved uh, be eternally lost, no fault of their own, because they never had an opportunity to be saved? So a good question here. Yes, it's a really great question. Yes. And it's not an easy question to answer. Um, obviously, God says in his word that he's just and he's love, mm. right? So we know that whatever it is that God does is going to be the most loving thing and the just thing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, and so I want to take us to Romans chapter 2 and, and verses 14 and 15. So Romans chapter 2, verses 14 and 15. And this is talking about the Gentiles or people who do not know God, who do not, says, do not have the law of God. And it says, when Gentiles who do not have the law by nature do the things in the law, these, although not having the law, are a law to themselves, yes. who show the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience also bearing witness, and between them their thoughts accusing or else excusing them. So what this verse or these verses are really saying is that every single person has the Holy Spirit working on them in their lives, mm -hmm. and every single person responds by saying yes or no. I'm going to be led by God or I will not. And in that way, then God is the one who decides, right? Based on yes, every single person's choice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The uh, <clears throat> flip side of that, or the important thing, I think we also must remember is that um, we are still supposed to go and preach the gospel and mm. go and witness. Uh, God That's is right. merciful and he has ways to save. Maybe that you know, we don't really know about, <clears throat> But he does say in Acts chapter 4 and verse 12, he gives us a principle that guides us in terms of whether we should go or, or not. And he says in Acts chapter 4 and verse 12, nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So yes. there's no other way. Right. God wants us to believe and to know that there's only one way to be saved through the cross of Christ. Uh, but thanks be to God, uh, He is merciful and He does have a thousand ways to provide that we don't know anything of. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, what a beautiful promise to cling to here today that our hope is found in Jesus. And what's so great about God is He knows each of our circumstances, all of our life story, history, and He can individually judge us and assess us and save us the way that we need to be reached, just where we are. So uh, we can take uh, hope in that today, that God, the all-knowing God, is also the all-loving God, and he will grant us mercy wherever we are. Mm -hmm.